theories on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube sent over by you guys. That's going to make us rethink everything. Make sure to add the Discord. The link is in the description down below. Thank you, Icy, for the video. Man, look. As you can see, I still got on my lock bunny, so I'm kind of fresh up. But look, this dream I had last night about this eclipse. I have never in my life had a dream like this, y'all. So there were five moons. It was five moons out the night of the eclipse. It, it was five moons out. And so people were gathered. Families were together. My family was together. Everybody was like, it, it was, it, it's crazy. So I walk in the house where well, I walk outside the house for something and as i'm walking out the house the military was everywhere y'all the military was everywhere in brown vest and they were sitting there talking and one of the men in the military said uh a creature was a creature was on the loose called titan zero L literally that's what he said i remember it so vividly he said the creature was named titan zero and we need to be careful so i walked back in the house to tell my family to get together and let them know what the military said and one of my family members went outside blue lights the brown the brown jeeps that the military be driving they were everywhere and they told him the exact same thing that there's a creature on the loose called titan zero titan and again zero. i said it was five moons out that that night the day of the solar eclipse it was five moons out that night i don't know what it means i've never had a dream like that i don't know again i don't know what it means but something is going on something is coming y'all and i just had to share that with y'all on this platform don't sleep on dreams because yahuwah can really speak to you that way now i'm not saying that he was hey I'm just saying, you might think that dreams are the most craziest things in the world. You will really can be telling you or showing you something through these dreams. So please write them down. Hold on to them because you just, you, you never know. You never know. If you have been feeling like time has been moving very fast lately, fast. you are not crazy. According to a recent report, Earth is now spinning faster than it used to and clocks may even have to skip a second to keep up. Due to this strange event, for the first time ever, timekeepers and organizations are considering subtracting a second from all of their devices, which they're calling a negative leap second, just to make sure all these devices are in line with sun up and sun down, and they're planning on doing this around the year of 2029. Now I've heard a few people talk about how they believe this may have something to do with CERN, and that's because every time they use their particle accelerator, people start reporting having strange dreams, disassociating with time, and having Mandela effects. And as you know, they're planning on smashing a particle together on April 8th. Even during CERN's opening ceremony, you can see that they show a clock moving back and forth rapidly, which could be symbolic for whatever's making people feel strange about time currently. But this does remind me of a scripture in the Bible, specifically in Matthew, that talks about how the days will be shortened before the return of Christ for the sake of the elect. So maybe time moving faster is the beginning of our shortening of days. Now obviously I don't know for sure, neither about God's timing and plans for our immediate future or about whatever CERN is doing. But I do know that the spiritual war between good and evil is getting more intense daily. Y'all ready? Nikon P1000. Look at that. And to think this is 450,000 miles away. <laughs> Strange, huh? Look at that zoom, man. That's a great That's camera. That's crazy. But I'm going to be going so many places, like to the Chicago skyline, mm -hmm. all those places that I've seen these videos with these P1000s, P900s. And I'm going to do the same thing and recreate these videos mm -hmm. for everybody. I've got my little sky track, my sky tracker coming in. This will be a lot, you know, more still and it'll actually track everything the way it's supposed to. So just wanted to show y'all, give y'all a little glimpse of it. See what we got. Thank you, Lisanne, for the video. Can someone explain to me how after being discharged from the Marine Corps for over 13, hang on, 
for, for 11 years, I'm sorry. I've been discharged from the Marine Corps for 11 years. I just got involuntarily recalled. Can someone tell me what's going on? <laughs> Do we have people that are in that area that can explain that? Because the fact that he's been signed out for that long and they're calling. <laughs> Imagine you signing something and they can call you at any time, even though you signed out of it. That's a never ending contract. That's a covenant at this point. Thank you, Isaac, for the video. But could somebody please explain to me why dudes my age are just painting their nails all of a sudden? I don't get it, dude. Why is that a thing now? I'm not trying to sound like a jerk by asking this. This isn't like a toxic masculinity situation or anything at all either. I just don't get it. I'm genuinely curious because it wasn't cool 10 years ago. It wasn't cool 20 years ago. But it's cool now. Are painting nails, is that like the new earrings? I got my ears pierced. When I came home with my ears pierced, my dad was like, what are you doing? Dude, if I came home with my nails painted though, I think my dad would be like, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I'd be like, what? And he'd be like, I'd be like, we're, we're home. And he's like, oh no, you don't live here anymore. If you're, if you're painting your nails, you don't have a home here. And that's oh, that's just what a dude from the 1950s is gonna say. And yeah. I, I couldn't get my nails painted now because think of my mom, dude. My mom raised two boys, me and my brother. How would she feel if I just wasted 18 years of her life where she could have been taking me and my brother to get our nails painted, doing the whole pedicure thing, doing the whole play dates with the nails painted, the whole before bed thing. I, 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 I couldn't do that to my mom. I'd feel like a jerk. And, but just explain it to me. Explain the nails painting to me because it's cool dudes are doing it. Pete Davidson, love that dude. MGK, cool dude. I just don't get it. Somebody explain it to me. I'm all ears, dude. What are we doing? It's an agenda being pushed. That's all. It's just, it's an agenda being pushed. Cause like he said, and I said it before a couple years ago, decade, two decades ago, you couldn't do that. And now you have your favorite popular artists and celebrities and influencers, athletes doing this. It's an agenda being pushed for our children to see so they can grow up and do this stuff. Thank you, Brian, for the video. It's being called one of the largest cash heists in LA history. Curious, let's go out to Gigi Graciette in Silmar, where burglars broke Silmar. into the vault of a money storage facility. They got away with a lot of money, Gigi. And as you said, Brooke, this seems like something out of a movie, a Mission Impossible movie. Take a look at the video. This is all happening here in Silmar on Easter Sunday. An estimated $30 million stolen in cash from a Silmar money storage facility. The burglars reportedly breaking in either through the side of the building or the roof and then managing to open up a vault where the cash was being stored without triggering any of the sophisticated alarms. Arms. And the burglary crew was so stealth and meticulous that no one noticed the money was gone until Monday when employees opened up the vault, which showed no obvious signs of a break in. Now, the company is Garda World. They have branches around the world and over 132,000 employees. And they oh specialize in cash services, which includes ATM services and armored truck transports. According to their website, some of their clients are Fortune 500 companies, even the United States federal government, along with other international government agencies. Well, and reportedly, not everyone who works at this facility knew that that much money was being stored here. The place is pretty secured. Uh, alarm system, they check to make sure that the alarm is set up. Apparently so, it's not secured if they were able to take 30 minutes. Just to that, they were able to go through the security system and get away with all that money, and so uh, it's a shocker. Now, that was a Garda World employee who asked that we not identify him. Again, they managed to somehow go around that alarm system. And, of course, that's something both the FBI and the LAPD are looking at right now. And, of course, they always, as in most crimes, start with those closest to the crime. And that would be looking at the employees. <laughs> Reporting live, I'm Gigi Graciette. Back to you. All right, Gigi. Thank mm. you. Sorry, I'm having green screen technical difficulties here i don't know what's happening or what's going on but please forgive me no i had to speak about that because there's a movie i literally just saw i didn't finish it though i have to go back and finish what happened was i was getting tired and i didn't want to fall asleep during the movie that's something that i do i'm the type that doesn't want to fall asleep during the movie so i'll tell you hey i'm tired so it's time to pause it 
and then we'll come back to it. There's a movie called Honest Thief, if I'm not mistaken. I will have it pop, y'all know me. I'll have it pop up here. I think it's called Honest Thief. It literally is giving the movie. I'm telling y'all, they're putting this stuff in movies because everything that they named that those people did is what Liam did in the movie. He said that he did it on Sunday. He parked right across, like literally everything that they named is what happened in this movie. And uh, what the movie's about is he a professional scammer. He really be, he do this, but he wanted to turn himself in because he had met a girl and wanted to change his ways, but didn't want to hold this, like, I guess on his spirit. So he wanted to turn himself in. So he told these cops, the cops were like, yeah, uh, long story short, everybody over here sitting here calling us and saying that they're this infamous robber. I forgot what they called him. You would have to watch the movie. But long story short, the cops, he told him, he told them where everything was at. So the cops went and he was like, oh, wow, he wasn't playing. He really, this really the guy. So the cops that went to go search out the scene and was like, this is really him, took that money. And I think the plan backfired. So while he was trying to be a honest thief, emphasis on the title, the cops that he told crossed him and took that money and did now i didn't finish the movie but in the movie he talks about how he did it and everything that they named on the news is exactly what they did so what i'm trying to say in a full circle is that they put this stuff in movies and they think people aren't looking and, and are not going to sit there and apply this stuff that they got put onto by the movies thank you detroit for the video my name is tara rodas and thanks to the bravery of aaron stevenson and thanks to Project Veritas and James O'Keefe for publishing the story, I was sitting on the Pomona Fairplex emergency intake site processing unaccompanied children. So you may know that children were coming to this country from other countries. We were taking them into the care, HHS, and then delivering them to sponsors, sponsors, unvetted sponsors throughout the United States. So because one whistleblower came forward and because one organization was willing to tell the truth, I was able to then uncover and report that the U.S. government is the middleman in a large-scale, multi-billion dollar operation. We literally have government-sponsored, taxpayer-funded child trafficking. Off. So one whistleblower coming forward telling the truth sets in motion a cascade of things that you could never imagine. So I was very grateful for the opportunity for someone to tell the truth. And who knows, maybe one of you could be the next person to come forward. Jeez. So along with my buddy Aaron, hey, middle man. I'm gonna continue to speak the truth until children are rescued, criminals are prosecuted, and the United States government no longer is putting billions of dollars to children. Thank you, Mike, for the video. Jeffrey Epstein was one of those behind the Organ of children. Organ. Yeah, that. It's that's crazy. crazy. I didn't, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, brother, you're dealing with you, this is business. Right. According to the United States Census Bureau, by the year 2042, Caucasian people in America will be the minority. So not only do we have the black women being cursed to have hysterectomies, but we have the white women being Damn. cursed to have more children. You have the clinics in 78 percent of the inner city neighborhoods while you have the majority of fertility clinics in the rich neighborhoods women black women are being encouraged to get hysterectomies but those hysterectomies are not being petitioned to be received by trans it gets very deep wow very Hold deep yeah. another thing you have organs kidneys you have lungs hearts etc that are on the underground white market you can't call it the black market it's the white market hearts are worth a little over a hundred thousand kidneys are worth over 20 50 thousand and those black body parts hence why 75 thousand plus black men are missing a lot of these children every year are missing. It sounds like Get Out. It is Get Out. That movie was based on true stories happening all over the place. In America, right now, it is a $30 billion commercialized industry, meaning the money made from children and women is now contributing to America's economic base. It is not what? a secret anymore. And organ organ because people are dying. Which is like, why you shouldn't fuck? put organ donor on your driver's license. Because that makes you a target. This is a real world we're dealing with, y'all. Now, you brought me on Drink Champs, damn it. We dropping the real you gotta drop the real, I know, I know what Thank you, Hector, for the video. It's crazy. You might remember rapper Houston for this song. During the peak of his so career, back. there was speculation that he saw the dark side of the industry. He tried to make it all end. He later used a fork to his own eye. None of that is worth you losing your manhood to another man. You must keep your manhood at all costs.
what did he take his eye out for? Well, that didn't take long. So I just looked up Houston rapper eye and it says singer says devil made him gouge eye out. The devil made him do it. He was found in his London hotel room with a serious eye injury. Someone said, I went to check on him before going to bed and I saw blood on the floor. That would have scared me. He was lying on his bed with a towel over his face and I removed the towel to find his eye hanging out. He said he had to get the devil off his back and that's the only way he could kill the devil. That's crazy. I never heard of this. I know who this is. I just didn't hear that story. So he only made I like that like I, he didn't make no other songs. This is the definition of hidden in plain sight part two. Has the Illuminati approached you about sacrificing anyone to make it happen? All the time. Okay. I don't know if you've had this but I've had people throw millions of dollars this in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And just the... You've been up. Yeah. Oh, there's a room. I call it the room with the door with the door behind it. You never yeah. get to that door. We, yeah. we always got through the first door. Yeah. We were so excited Jason about said, being yeah. in that room. Yeah. Yeah. And we never looked at the next door. The stage, that's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's not. I mean, and first of all, I'm not getting the back. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna. If we can, just let's, let's just put the camera go this way, just so we're not. I don't want my shot to even. Like, I don't want it to come close to the bank. Man, you see this Mark Zuckerberg building this $270 million bunker? What did he build on the bu a $270 million bunker? What do he know that we don't know, Cat? Kim Jong un? <laughs> what? I don't know what you don't know. Do you understand that people that are not very bright are in charge of nuclear bombs all across the country? That's what he knows. He knows that 30% of all weapons systems are running off regular Wi Fi. So, what does that mean? That means if a solar flare or a meteor hits either one of those literally a bomb can go off just because the system accidentally got turned off that's what he knows the, the people that are in power know that the people that are running the most complicated and deadliest things on the planet are just an average idiot i think i have to be the only one on the planet that still has not watched that interview i haven't seen it because I knew you guys would be like sending in little snippets and shorts or TikToks of this. I, I heard it was a great interview, a great podcast vibe. I, to this day, just still haven't seen it. But I know, again, I know he's already speaking about the stuff that we know. Thank you, Mike, for the video. This is where it gets wild. After the government showed up, he says, go look at my land on the satellite imagery. It's blocked out over <gasps> where his property are. Sure enough, when it is blocked out, you cannot see what is right there. And the neighbor's like, yeah, there used to be these stone pillars erected around this hole way before you ever moved onto this property. He said it looked a lot like Stonehenge. And he said that neighbors had reported seeing from this hole, this black beam shoot from this hole, darker than dark, this beam just go <laughs> And he said, in fact, one of my neighbors once told me that his dog died and he threw the dog down the hole. And then he said the next morning that dog was on his porch. What? Yeah, no. Like, alive. Alive? <laughs> alive. Nope. Uh -uh. You. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's Mel's hole. Well, they created something called the Robo Rat. That was the first biohybrid. So a biohybrid is when you mix animal and a machine. And people freaked out. They were like, you cannot put brain chips in rats and make them move through a maze by a remote control, which is what they were doing. And they started creating all kinds of biohybrids. They now have pigeons that are mixed animal and machine. Flyer, you're a spy. Fly or you're a spy. I told y'all. Come on, move. <laughs> Fly. There's a moth, and DARPA scientists put brain chips into the larva so that when it cocooned and became a flying moth, it had the chip built into its system, making it easier to integrate, and they could fly the moth around the lab. And that was a huge step, and this is now four years ago that I was interviewing these scientists. Ooh, somebody made a great point. They said, they told us this already, in the series Terminator 1, when man became machine somebody said birds are real and then you gotta remember with that chip stuff elon musk was trying to y'all remember that when elon musk had that thing going and I, my question was if he was gonna get it because you can't sell something that you're not gonna get you can't sell something that you're not gonna have in you 
But y'all know what I'm talking about, the chip that he was going to have planted, I think, in the brain area or wherever he was going to place it. Before there was this guy, there was this guy. And he was knighted by the British royal family. His name was Jimmy Savile, and he was a television star on the BBC. And he was oh, really man. close with Prince Charles, the current king of England. I mean, really close. Look at how young Prince Charles was when their relationship started. And they did all types of charitable work together for decades, specifically raising money for hospitals and schools. But after Savile died, we would learn that he was accused of over 500 sexual assaults. In one hospital alone, the hospital that he helped fund, he was accused of over 60 assaults. And his victims ranged from five-year-old children to 75-year-old women. Boys, oh, yeah. girls, children, adults, it didn't matter. He, he was no a filter. pure predator. And although Savile was doing this while at the BBC, he seemed to be protected by the culture of the company, which reminds me of ABC spiking the Jeffrey Epstein story all the way back in 2016. Apparently, after being pressured by the royal family. Isn't that interesting? Which is why teaching kids about fake news is so important. Oh, look, Epstein and Prince Andrew. Mm. So I don't know what's going on with the Princess of Wales, but I think we should all have questions. Check out my books on fake news, how information is controlled, a right to bear arms, corruption of the banking system, and so much more. All members of the Council on Foreign Relations are Illuminist. Members of the Trilateral Commission, members of the Club of Rome, the Bohemian Skull and Bones Society. fraternity, yes. the, the Bohemian Society. Here's a, a group of presidents up there with black robes, like Klansmen, sitting around this huge bonfire at the Bohemian Grove, uh, we have worshiping color, we this have color pictures giant of this. owl. Yeah, we have we have color pictures of the of the presidents of the United States, all living presidents today, uh, and dressed in large uh, black robes with pointed headdresses, like the Ku Klux Klan in front of a large open fire pit, a pit of fire, uh, and, the, and the article appeared said that it was after 12 midnight, all the American presidents line up on this altar and worship mm, the owl. And they said so the dangerous. reason why the owl is used in their, in their worship is because it is wise, because it is able to see things in the dark. There's a message there. The owl is wise because it sees things in the dark. And that's why the presidents and the heads of the uh, state and the heads of the uh, uh, the, the government that we, we live under all meet at 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock at night uh, to worship the owl. And this if you, is listen, if history. You, yeah, but if you don't believe it, if you don't believe it, we will come back and do another show and Jordan will pull out the all picture. All the pictures. Yes, I want to and see And you can picture. zero in on Jerry. Well, I do Ford don't believe it. Sort of satanic... When I tell you, like, it's nothing new under the sun, the fact that they wanted to sit there and worship an owl because it can see in the dark. I swear people want to worship everything but the most high. You guys have voids that you want to feel so much. And the, the thing that you're missing is Yahoo and Yahusha. Y'all looking for all these other places that is temporary fixes. It's Yahoo and Yahusha. That's the answer y'all want. It, y'all worshiping. It, it's literally given the story when Moses went up on the mountain, fasted 40 days and 40 nights, trying to write down the commandments. Came back down, seen that his brother Aaron created this golden calf for them, for the, for the Israelites to worship. That's literally what it's giving. Except this and that story, it was a, it was a calf. This one's an owl. Again, want to worship everything but the most high. Worship, see how that work. I bet you won't turn away. Worship the most high. Try it. Y'all trying everything else but, but the, the, the final solution. Y'all trying everything that is touching the surface, but not getting to the root. The root is Yahoo and Yahusha. That's what you're missing. Haven't shouted nobody out in a minute. These are all Mike's videos. I'm just letting it be known. I just want y'all to know I haven't forgot about y'all. Just Mike was dropping videos. Millennium pan floating on an invisible cradle of electric waves. Go home and tell your wife you've seen it. And see if she believes you were sober. Or go home and tell her you found a new way to cook the breakfast eggs and bacon. In a pan without any contact with heat or flame. She'll be certain you weren't sober. Underneath the pan That's are coils which dangerous. send up invisible electric waves of energy and that energy produces eddy currents in the metal of the pan and those eddy currents cause enough heat in the metal to cook the breakfast. Or you can use the eddy currents to light electric bulbs. So go home and tell your wife you found a new way to light the house with bulbs that glow without any wires to connect them to the mains. She'll know you weren't sober. This little implement solves the problem of the orange, not the rates. 
and appeals it as clean as a whistle. Should any gentleman here want, uh, in a moment of weakness, uh, to drink lemonade, here's a simple method of extracting the juice. A new marvel of science is on show at the San Francisco Fair. I was Fair. interested in that. Nine pound aluminium pan floating on an invisible... I, I wanted to see how that, that lemon... <laughs> I just want to see how it's going to pour out. Why didn't it show me? Thank you, Jai, for the video. Hi. Uh, one herbal tea, please. Which flavor? Flavor. Uh, I don't know, jasmine? Uh, sorry, I meant for the boba. The little spheres of uh, tapioca and sugar? The tea comes with boba. Well, it doesn't because I see the tea right there and I see the boba <laughs> over there. So why don't we just not combine them? Yeah? <laughs> You know, so I'll take the tea without the covert diabetes delivery mechanism, please. Dang. <laughs> the system won't let me do that. What show is this? Okay. Yeah, no, fine. One boba, please. We'll call it a mental health day treat. Self-care, <laughs> right? Isn't that what people call it whenever they need an excuse to do whatever they want? I don't know. Yeah, no, of course you don't. Of course you don't. One chewy sugar tea, please. All right. Uh, you can scan the code. Uh, why? because the code takes you to the app. That's two apps today. Yeah, got apps for everything, you know? Even though I'm already talking to the person that uh, could just take my order right here, but I gotta download an app, right? How about this? I have cash, you have tea. Why don't we just streamline things? Not streamline. We don't take cash, though. Yeah, how about cards? Take cards? Uh, yes. Oh, great. But there is a $10 minimum. Oh my gosh. Just leave. There's Please. no minimum on the app, though. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, <clears throat> it's not your fault. You know, you didn't create the system. The system. Oh, I remember this. Never really said, Rand, I really got your back. Thank you, because you know what, Boog. I mean, me and Boog, me and Boog was in a room together. Chris Stokes put us in a room together and made us do stuff together. You feel me? Me and Jarrell, Houston. You're not gonna, you're not gonna sweep every, anything under the rug. I was by Chris Stokes and Mark Houston, and that's just, that's the truth. Mm. Period. And that's the truth, and you can say that to you. I just think it's kind of messy when you gotta put other people's truth out there. I don't think that's your place to judge other people. Well, my truth, my, my truth is, is the fact that Chris Stokes had me and Jarrell Houston in a room. My truth is that. Hold on, hold on, Judy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My, I got a problem with Fizz because Fizz was the first person to take and he wanted to make it seem like I'm a I'm crazy and like there's a problem like I did something to him. I never did anything to nobody. Some random some tapes got out and we all know what that was about. Obviously it was in God's will. I can't protect Boog when he gonna set me up and he knew about the meeting at Mike Conception's house and Mike and, and in Compton. You know, I'm trying to protect Chris, Marcus, Omari, y'all, everybody have respect for everybody's family, but don't nobody show no love and respect for me. That Load of this. Just I, a joke. After all these years, I've never met the Olsen Comedy. twins. He introduced me to them. I said to him, how do I tell them apart? He says, Ashley. How is this funny? Is it true that you used to give Mary Kate acting lessons? You tell her, act like this never happened. Bob Saget, who we reacted to this. What kind of joke is that? A couple reactions back. And it's crazy, because it seems to be the theme with all these young stars. I may end up running off with you myself, you know. That's what Steven says. Steven, it's Steven Spielberg? Yeah. Hi, Steven, I love you. Second best again. Story of my life with women, yeah. She even talks about being at those Hollywood I parties. I thought that was her. Well, I grew up very fast, and it's not very normal to see a nine-year-old at a big Hollywood party drinking. You heard that right. At nine years old, she was at Hollywood parties getting drunk. And it's crazy how it's such a common theme for these childhood stars to get institutionalized for acting out. If you know, you know. Time to expose some more pizza files, if you know what I'm saying. Now, this is pure speculation, right? We've known each other for years. Yeah. You've been to my house. We've had pizza. Girl after my own part, heart. Do we love a pizza or yeah. what? We love yes, a pizza. We do. It's so it's so so much fun. Now someone did. I, so much fun. I, I was pizza? told that you were. Okay, that wasn't weird at all. I actually heard other people talking about Jennifer Aniston's pizza parties. So they're going back and forth talking about Jennifer Aniston, trying to get them to go out and have fun with her, go to her parties. 
just pay attention to body language, gestures. When Aniston will say to me in the middle of the night, whenever I'm with her, uh, something cool should be like, you see? And I'll be like, no, you're right. This is great. This is great. And then the next morning, she'll text me and say, I know something, you know, Wednesday night, if you want, I'll be like, come on, we just did that Saturday thing. Let's <laughs> We don't have to do too good. I like, I'm like, I'm going to bed at 9. I can't come over. Your thing starts at 8.30. So. <laughs> yeah, she can handle it. She yeah, can handle it. And she her can. parties are incredible at her yeah, house, too. Yeah. She does have good parties. And she makes good pizza as well. She makes great pizza, Wonder yes, yes. Wonderful pizza. All right, um, just, y'all are all like, uh, whatever. I know it's not just me. Those of you who know, you know. How was the pizza? Was it good? Oh, what did he, he make it Amal's himself? pizza was better than Clutes. Yeah, they yeah, both they... made, uh, everybody made a, a certain kind of pizza. There's no Final. pizza we didn't love. Something that he does. Five different kinds. Five different else. kinds or six different kinds of pizza that night. Clutes was excellent. Chef, chef. Amal's was. So I wonder why she told him to be quiet. Five different kinds, six different kinds. Like that six. kind of sounds familiar. One lady was like, How many cheeses, Jerry? <laughs> Jerry was like, seven different cheeses, seven different cheeses. <laughs> People were eating the pizza going crazy. Oh, my God, I taste the cheeses, Jerry. I taste the cheeses. They bought me my piece of pizza. I took a bite. I couldn't believe it. Best pizza I've ever had in my life. Best pizza I've ever had. Had some type of lettuce on it. I've never tasted this. Took my white baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Wait till you taste the lettuce. He didn't just say what I think he said, did he? So somebody said he said, I told my wife, baby, listen. Took my wife, baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Took my wife, baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Took my wife, baby's got some type of lettuce on it. Okay, I'm not hearing it. Now here's the thing, y'all. It's all speculation, right? It's just a conspiracy, right? I know. We're all crazy, right? Nobody liked pizza that much. Like, all her conversations were about pizza. Like, that's the only thing you eat? I just want to know, why did they use the word pizza as, like, a, a code word? Y'all could have said fettuccine. Y'all could have said pumpkin pie. I'm trying to think of all this. Y'all could have said Subway sandwich. At this point, I'm hungry. That's what it is. I'm going to sit here and just name all this stuff. Why pizza? Now, I came and say that because y'all know pizza is my favorite food, but I came to say that because I don't want nobody to clip this. It's like, oh, they got her. No, I, when I'm talking about pizza, I'm talking about the food. They're talking about something else. And then I don't even talk about food or pizza like that. Thank you, Eric, for the video. How could chemtrails cause mind control? Well, what people don't realize is that your consciousness is governed by light. Mm -hmm. Light comes in through your eyes and hits your pineal gland. You have to have that. And you have to have it. And the pineal gland is the center of consciousness. It's the center of the soul, Descartes said. Okay? And so light, the color of light, changes your consciousness. And if we, if the sun is changing, then it's possible that our consciousness is changing. It could be that the changing nature of the sun over the last 20 years is what's causing the Great Awakening yeah. that's happening. And they know that the Great Awakening is happening. Previous to our other conversation about archons, what if the archons realize that the changing nature of the sun was going to wake people up and they're going to find out about them? What do they do? That's what they do. They spray, they spray the skies. This everywhere. Is, everywhere. I have a friend who just went away from through me. Europe last week, two weeks straight in Europe. I used to go, I go to Europe all the time. Uh, I used to never see chemtrails in Europe. He said the skies were filled with them. I have a friend who lives in South Africa, Michael Tellinger. Same thing. He tells me the skies are filled with chemtrails now. They used to, used to just be in the United States, he There's said. no clear days anymore. There's no clear days anymore. Mm. And they've upped it. I don't know if you've noticed, but they've upped it. It's now much more spraying than there used to be, say, three years ago. Right. And the spraying yeah. is different. They've really gotten sophisticated. This is some of the thicker, everything. thicker, like that middle cloud there in that photograph. They've really gotten good with their, um, with, the, with whatever technology they're using here, because now <laughs> everyone has a doppelganger. Mine is ludicrous. <laughs> saying people can't look alike, but when you take a now famous person and compare Dang. it to paintings of famous people in the past and they look exactly alike with the same medical conditions, it really raises an eyebrow. And it's just crazy how some of these old paintings oh, wow. or posters just capture a certain essence of a person's personality. You could guess who that was if you didn't yeah. even compare it. You don't see it though? An old king of Spain and Mark Zuckerberg? Okay. Damn, Justin, you should grow that beard out again. 
This is one I know a lot of people have seen. Tell me it don't look haven't. like him though. It does. Doppelganger, clone, vampire, I don't know. All I know, oh, that explained a lot. Maybe there's a little drug that helps them Ooh. not age. Though sometimes I can see it being a stretch. It's just times like this where they look too much alike. I mean, he's just a they bit They gotta fluffier. be family. And maybe they swapped genders. I don't have all the answers, guys. And the list goes on. Maybe they're of the same bloodline. Maybe they've been drinking blood. Maybe they're a fuck. I know it is said. This we all have seven people who look like us. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it before. I'll put it there on that that video because I wanted to speak on if you guys have any celebrity lookalikes because I was just speaking about this with my sister. I'm like, who do you think I look like? And she told me, and I know you guys in the comment section have given me multiple people. So one was, uh, I think her name is Dasha, if I'm saying that right, from Orange is the New Black. I'll probably have pictures pop up just so that you guys can see. So yeah, y'all don't got to look it up. I heard that one a lot. Don't really see that one, but you know, it is what it is. You guys have said Alicia Keys a lot. I don't see that one, but it is what it is. Journey Smollett. I've gotten that one a lot. That one I can see. I just think <laughs> light complexion woman, hair slicked back or whatever the case is, y'all just think I look like. But I'm, I'm gonna put these people here. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else that I've heard. Back when I first started YouTube, I used to get Bianca from Damien and Bianca, DMB Nation, AKA the Prince family. Dang, they got a lot of names. Yeah, I used to get that too, but those are like my celebrity lookalikes. So y'all had to name who y'all look like or who y'all been told that y'all look like. I think I've kind of cleared the list. But if I didn't, go ahead and add in the comment section like y'all gonna do anyway. And y'all let me know or let me know who's the closest one that I look like. But it's just interesting that we all have somebody that we resemble or somebody that looks like us. I know he was referring to doppelgangers and stuff. I'm just telling you who y'all told me I kind of resemble. But another lovely video. I appreciate all you guys that have sent in stuff. Again, if you guys don't know, I am catching up to... The videos that you guys have dropped in recently so these are like all new videos so that's why we've seen like the diddy being exposed and all this other stuff i think the most interesting one for me i'm gonna be honest is that pizza one because it's just like y'all could have used any word any term but y'all use pizza i don't understand why did y'all pick pizza i don't know it's just it's not clicking it's not clicking but i know you guys will help me out and i greatly appreciate it by the way I'll be reading the comments and I'll be learning a lot from the comments. So thank you guys in advance. I do want to say I appreciate all those that have been showing love and support on the shopperky.com website, aka the merch. If you guys have been purchasing or have purchased, please take a picture and send it to me. Tag me, whatever the case is, so that I can post it on the website for all to see. I'm very blessed, grateful, and appreciative of all that you guys have been doing and speaking of being blessed and grateful and appreciative i gotta give all esteem all glory and all kabod to my lord yahuwah and my adonai yahusha hamashiach you have to remember i'm just a vessel that he's working in and through so i have to give credit and honor where it is due but that is it for today's video y'all have a blessed one i'll see y'all the next one shalom shalom you can't bring me down i know who i belong to yeah